Hi guys, this is another unboxing video and this is also a world premiere of the coffee shop that I plan to put up. The coffee shop's theme is about my statue collection, my anime collection. So this is where the display will go and that is where the coffee shop counter will go. And it's a work in progress, but I'm glad to announce to you guys what's happening, what's going on. So, but first, we need to fill up these cabinets. Uh, this cabinet would easily fill up around 50 statues. So, we have some here uh, that we're planning to first put up. So... Now let's start with, I guess, Big Mom. So we have here Big Mom from Jimmy. We have Shira Hoshi from Jimmy. And this Zoro from Solving, all licensed. And also a Charizard Polystone unique, from Unique Art Studio, also licensed. So. That is the theme of this coffee shop. The, the name of the coffee shop is still a work in progress. We still have a, lot, have a lot of ideas popping up. Which should be the final name of the coffee shop. I'm thinking of calling it Collector's Cafe. But uh, comment down below what you guys think is the best name for a coffee shop. With the theme of uh, statue collections. Mainly anime collection. Mainly anime statues. From One Piece, uh, what else? From One Piece, from Pokemon, and Demon Slayer. So anyway, let's start with the unboxing. We're gonna start off with Big Mom. And since I don't have an assistant today, I'm gonna be uh, just posting videos. Not a, not, not a lot of uh, those videos where you need to rip the box etc so i'll just put up the video where when i opened it already and i'm taking out i've already taken up the parts and when i already assembled it so let's go so we're gonna start off with unboxing big mom from jimmy studio so these are two huge statues of big mom mine is number 173 out of 230 so these are very heavy statues. One weighs uh, both weighs 18, uh, 26 kilos. So this is gonna be a struggle to unbox solo. So let's go. So here's the shot of the two boxes side by side, and it clearly says which box is A and which box is B. So we're gonna start off with box A. The relatively smaller box so let's go so right off the bat we are greeted with a beautiful beautiful artwork of Big Mom and this is what the statue is going to look like so let's have a quick uh, go around of the box art of box A so this top part Some more beautiful artwork at the back and the licenses logo. So here's a snap of how the content of box A looks like. Basically it's just the single base. It contains just the base. So basically box A is only carrying the base. So the base practically weighs 18 kilograms the base alone so we'll have a closer look at the details of this base in a bit so here is the close-up of the base
So now we are done with box number A. We are gonna open box number B, letter B. So basically box B is the exact same box in terms of style with box A, same art box, same design, same artwork at the back. So that's it for box B's art box. So naturally, box B would contain all the other parts of the statue minus the base. So here, we get the GMA envelope that I never open and the assembly instruction manual here. And also the GMA gloves. So box B is a double box and as evident here we need to open this top part first then the bottom so here is the contents of the top part of box b with all of its plastic undone so uh, as you guys know the biggest reason why i do these unboxing videos is for my easy reference in case i need to rebox my statues to resell them or to store them because most of the collectors know what a pain it is to rebox statues especially those with a lot of accessories and parts so this is the perfect time for you to pause this, this video in, in case you needed a reference on how to rebox your Jimmy statues especially Big Mom so we have here an Angkor M her cape, this is a very heavy cape, a lighting effect, some more letters, and this one is a button. So we have a button here. This is the Napoleon and Big Mom's big face. So let's go over to the bottom part of Box B. So these are the contents of the bottom part of box B with all its plastic taken out for a better view. So we have here, oh, uh, so we can post, pause this uh, portion in case you want reference of reboxing. So now we go over the parts. Here is, here you have the box containing the bl the plaque and you know Jimmy makes the most beautiful plaques so these are the plaques we'll go over this in a bit and under there is the brush dust brush so we have her body super heavy super heavy body and we have here I forgot the name of this guy and some minions and the charger or the light up and this is a support so i guess this statue needed a clear support because you can see here there is a lettering saying support point so i guess this stand will go here so we'll see later so I just want to point out some discrepancies from the assembly instruction with the actual piece so in the assembly instruction the, the cape says that there are three pegs for the cape but in actual there are only two pegs that goes on Big Mom's body and the cape only rests on the flame here there's actually no peg there i'm not sure if this is only for the international version but there is clearly a difference with the instruction versus the actual and even even the sentence here says there are three pegs fitted into the flame slot firstly then onto the big mom's body but there are no pegs that goes to the flame from the cape so let's see what Jimmy will 
say about this and if 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 this is really secured but i i guess this is secured already so so another discrepancy here is that the assembly manual says the blade part is separate from the handle so it's number 14 and number 13 here but in actual the blade is one whole piece so there's no need to insert this handle into the blade part it's uh it came in as a one whole piece so i'm not sure if it's just for the international version or there's really a revision after the assembly manual has been printed but i'm guessing there's no actual structural um, concern with this and actually it I, I feel that it made the uh the statue uh, much safer so another one not on the assembly manual is this button it does not say where it goes on the assembly manual but you can derive that it goes on the swords hilt or base or whatever you call it so that's it this is Jimmy's big mom in all its glory one of the best pieces Jimmy came out with super huge uh, a little history about this piece is that um, it was revealed at, when it was first revealed uh, the co all collectors noticed that it's too small compared to other Jimmy pieces especially when uh, put side by side with other emperors like Whitebeard it's too small so there was a big ruckus from the collecting community and the nice thing about Jimmy is that they listen to fans they listen to the collectors and they increase the size of Big Mom significantly without I guess without any added cost and now it is perfect size uh, placed side by side with other emperors because we know that big mom in reality is a giant giant literally a giant so nice touch by jimmy so keep listening to the fans because that's what separates great companies to other competitors it's their fan support and their uh, and their willingness to listen to criticism. Uh, one thing that I nitpick about this statue is the neck seam. It's a little obvious, but it wouldn't bother me too much. But I know there are a lot of collectors out there that is bothered with neck seam, but in reality st in statue collecting you cannot really avoid next seams unless it's one solid piece from head to the torso so i'm gonna continue with a little video montage of big mom and its wonderful details
We have some more pieces here that were left out. Uh, this support piece, there are three circles here, which I am still not sure where exactly to put them. This support piece, I'm guessing, the, uh, it's to support the Napoleon in case there will be a lean, uh, falling off issue in the future. But anyway, I'll just put it there just in case. These three, I am not sure. Maybe they are risers. Maybe risers for the support. I don't know. I'll just have to research on it. And this box that feels super special. A box that contains some sort of frame. Big Mom. So this is the frame of the statue. Looks super, super special, super rich, super premium. What else to say? There are like gold leaves engraved uh, or embossed. There, it's just not. It's not just printed. It's embossed. And it's really like a picture frame with a stand. So you could display it. So you could display it like so. Just like a picture, a picture frame would. And here is some sort of an ID containing uh, information. Certificate of precious metal test. I guess for the frame. So I guess this frame contains precious metals. Not sure which parts are the precious metals. Maybe this accessory, this jewelry of Big Mom. Maybe they are real jade. Maybe these are real jewels. I don't know. But I'm guessing this one is a precious metal. And for the light up feature, I still cannot uh, open the light up feature yet because I don't have the the outlet near where I would put Big Mom but in the future I'll put up some outlets near so that we can test the light up feature but I'm sure the light up feature is really incredible so I guess this water would light up And finally, I'll show you a video where I would be putting her in her final place. <laughs> 